Well, welcome back. It's been a, a strange few episodes recently. Uh, we beat the Necromancer's Apprentice, and then we had a short mission after that. That was to clear 100% of room battles. And, uh... We beat it in the first room! Didn't even have to do the rest of the du entire dungeon. <laughs> uh, so this time we're going to go ahead and try to do a medium. Uh, we're doing it with kind of a weird group here. Uh, it's my first movement group that I've ever tried. We'll see how well it works. We've got two movers and two who are supposed to be a little stationary, but we're going to find out. Here we go. Oh, what a great start. Fuck off. Again? Already? What the fuck? Okay, time to see how this comp actually does in battle here. Uh, so we've got Finale here to hopefully, yep, get a kill from the start. He then gets debuffed and moves everyone around, and that's kind of, you know, the how they balance that move out. It does ridiculous damage, but then completely fucks up your order. Now, if you've got a huge movement team, like I do, well, I mean, it's not a huge movement team, but uh, you can move back and forth from the first to last spot, and my uh, grave robber can also move a bit to offset anything if I need to move something but not waste a turn but with just movement. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. Okay, three bleeds there. Nice. Oh, that's not... Okay, at least it wasn't a crit. That thing can crit for a lot. Alright. See, we've also got this solo, which will debuff everyone and move us back to the front. And set us up for another finale, if need be. I just don't know... You know, it says we get debuffed. How long does that last? Only one turn? I don't know. Another reason we brought the, uh, the Jester along is so that if he does his finale and he gets moved to the back, if we don't need him immediately to reset the order or to debuff, then we can also use him for stress reduction. Which for a medium length uh, dungeon is going to be really important. And we've already got our grave robber at, you know, three dots of stress and our our guy here already at four. And it's partly because, you know, I just didn't get rid of much of the stress last time. Uh, I haven't gotten rid of stress at all from uh, my jester in any way, and I just used these other three in my last mission. <laughs> so, yeah, everyone's going to be a tiny bit stressed from the beginning. But I'm hoping, because he's got some pretty good stress reduction, uh, and we've also got skills for stress reduction when it comes to the... Uh, Time to camp. So I'm hoping that's gonna be good enough. Oh come on! The guy, the guy's gonna die from bleeding or blight, and uh, he still gets one hit off right before he dies. <laughs> yeah, okay. He's dead. Oh, no, he's not. This should take him out. Oh. Not too bad. Not too bad. Blade. And we're already running out of room? After the first fight? That's a little fucked. Okay. Uh, do we want to get rid of anything? No. Let's just keep going then. Alright. Well, that's why we have a shovel. These tunnels predate even the earliest the uh, grave robber does start with one. But we bought one more just in case, since this is medium. You know, I don't really remember what those two guys in the back do. I mean, the one guy spits at us, but yeah, this guy in particular. What does he do? Hopefully we'll kill him before we even find out. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah, vomit, not spit. Okay. It is stress and... Oh, it's not a... I thought it was like 
plague or blight or disease or something that went along with it. If it's only that, then that's not too bad. A tiny bit of damage that also has some stress with it. And the damage is so small, we don't even have to really worry about it. We only have to worry about stress relief. And that's not too bad. How much is this going to do? Four. Debuff. Go ahead and get some bleeds, hopefully. I was really hoping to rather get some bleed on that front worm instead of the corpse, but, you know, what can you do? We'll move back to the front. Realign here. How many resists all across the board? All right, all right. Gonna give us a buff, correct? Yeah, okay. It's almost dead. <laughs> Nine stress. Oh, see? Did resist a disease there, so I guess that can actually disease. I wonder what that one is. Is it rabies? I don't remember. Probably gonna find out before the end of this dungeon. A faint hope blossoms. Man, this uh, fight's taking longer than I would hope. Considering we have a Grave Rover and a Jester, we're both fairly high damage. I don't want these battles to go on very long. I was hoping to be in and out with each of these battles. Move around a couple times, bing bing boom. Finish them before I get damaged too much, and before, you know, my screwed up order starts to fuck me over too much. Ain't even them now. Yes, 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 madam, okay. We're already out of anti-venom. Great start. You know, I haven't gone to this area in a long time, so I just kind of forgot what was here. I forgot that we needed so much anti-venom. Oh, yeah, well. Nice. Okay, when we got the chest, please don't be trapped. Please don't be trapped. Nice. And of course we don't have enough room. What are we going to do about that? Okay, we can get rid of these. Well, we can use one first to get rid of this debuff. Because I don't know how long this debuff will last if we're just walking along. What if we run into a fight immediately? Then it'll be good to have it off. Okay, this one we're just going to have to discard. And... Uh, the prompt's not coming back up. Fuck, I can't interact with it again. Oh. Alright. Well, time to see how a movement comp, or at least a <laughs> kind of a movement comp, works with being surprised. Usually being surprised really fucks you over, but I've already got him to the front where I want him. Uh, my best is still on the back. Uh, sadly, I don't have both movement skills for my Grave Robber. She's got one that moves her forward, or actually I think two that move her forward and one that moves her back. And I've only got the one that moves her forward, and she's uh, sadly already pretty far forward, so not super happy about that. I am happy about that resist, though. Alright, six and six, definitely not bad. She's doing good damage for us. I'm starting to kind of like these grave robbers. If I can just figure out, you know, the right comp for Eleven, yes, that is why we have Finale. Okay. More Vomit Mist. Do like your dodge chances, that's always nice. You know, I thought maybe I was making a mistake not bringing a tank along, but I figure Grave Robber and Jester have fairly high dodge. And it always seems like the Houndmaster always, you know, he's a real medium, you know, he's he's not too bad at anything, he's not too great at anything. And I figured 
what he can't tank, he'll probably dodge. And it seems to be working out that way. Do we just want to go forward again? I'll go for stress relief. Well, that was maybe not the best option. We only got one debuff there. Can we just finish it off here, please? Okay. Then, not too bad again. What have we got? Ooh, a map! How much scouting? Okay, that is really useful. Uh, we know we've got to go. Ah, god damn it! Ancient traps. We know we've got to go this room to the left, and then we can go back to the right. We're not gonna have to go up through that uh, other hallway there, and we can just avoid that battle. Okay. What can we do with the drummer? Oh. And he left and crit from that? Damn. Good start. Uh, let's go for some blight here. Hopefully you're not even going to get a turn. Exactly. <laughs> They've got, what, 60% bleed resist? This, however, does plus 15 damage versus beasts. I do believe they are beasts. This might be a better option. It's singular, but it's got the plus damage, and they are beasts, indeed. Five, and a resist. Well, they're probably going to resist the bleeds anyway, for the most part, so I think that was a good decision there. Can we just get one taken out? Yes. That, again, is why we have Finale. Two is not that bad. Yes, thank you for the resist. Now, I think we want to go for a little stress reduction because it's it's building. <laughs> Slowly but surely. I don't think we're going to run into heart attack range here, but... It's amazing how quickly the things can just get out of control. Once you get one person who's tested, then they start, you know doing dumb shit and they start refusing heals and they do random actions and saying shit which will stress other people out you know you would think that you really only have to worry about stress when it gets all the way up to heart attack levels but no as soon as you get up to even with one guy up to being tested it seems like that's the point where you really have to worry. Because they can help snowball everyone else. That's why we're going to try to keep it low here. Minus 10 there, plus a buff. Just smack them down. Only three. That sucked, but it doesn't matter. A trifling victory. Getting two but a deeds. Nonetheless. Two extra food. So I think we should just go ahead and munch on that. And these, we don't have room for. Ha. Huh. But I am too much of a pussy to get rid of my bandages or torches just yet. Fuck. What do these pigs in the front do? I don't remember. Like I said, it's been so long since I've been to this area of the game. It seems like all of my missions have just been elsewhere. Cove and ruins, mostly. I just don't remember what the hell these guys do. Hmm. And that is a problem. So much of this game is about knowledge, about knowing how to mitigate risk. Okay, hook where it hurts. For four is not terrible. Such a terrible Eleven! <laughs> He is fucking terrible. <laughs> Fuck me. Damn. Okay. Uh, so are these guys supposed to be tanks or DPS? And not that I have an option here. I don't have an option to move the enemy team. But if I did, it seems like they would be pretty terrible in the back lines. So maybe in future runs of this area, I can 
bring some people to move their positions around, put them in the back. It does seem like position moving would be particularly good for this area. Then again, I've been wrong about that. I.e. the uh, spear dudes in the cove. <laughs> Who have fucked me over even more from the backwards positions. And of course, the thrall, the big fucking fat guy who explodes, who I thought would be completely safe to keep in the back position, mother... Okay. Bleed. Bleeding everybody, including corpses here. Finale. Come on. <laughs> that is not why we bring you along. Okay. No disease there. Gotta be happy for small things. Blackjack is our only option here other than moving, so... Oh wait, no, we can do this too. Right, you can do that from any position, can't you? Look where it hurts, please no crit. Oh, Vestal. You're amazing. Let's go for the single target. Because that one makes sense. Okay. Oh, surprised. Okay. You know, I, I don't remember. Does the surprise ever actually move around their formation, or does it just give you first shot? 26! Holy fuck! That has got to be my biggest hit in this game. With any class. Holy crap. Man, I wish I could do that on a boss. That'd be a good idea to bring him along for bosses. Or just like a full movement group and just go pure DPS on a boss. I've actually got like two boss battles waiting. The Hag and... Who's the other one? The... What's his name? The Sonorous Prophet? I think that's his name. Maybe I ought to bring a Jester along for one of those. And again, my other comp... Pretty standard comp that I used for the Necromancer's Apprentice was real solid. It would be mm, a little scary and I'd be hard pressed to take anything else. Well, go for a solo, how many? Miss, miss, miss! Okay! Alright, drums. All of one marked debuffed. Is that going to completely ruin our accuracy here? We still hit for 13 on a beast, okay. And it's a crit, so we get the uh, minus seven stress. But I want to see how much damage that bleed is gonna do next turn. How do I, how do I look at that on the PS4? Ugh. Uh, I need to look up controls for that kind of thing. I think if you just hover over it on the PC version, it'll tell you that. But PS4, I don't know how much bleed he's taking per turn. So I don't know if he's going to have another chance to attack or not. And I do not want to give him another chance. Executed with impunity. Hmm. Just go over the heal here. Heal ourselves, get the kill. There we go. Or shit, I can't carry. As victory. Another map would be nice. What the fuck was that? Beast Hater. Uh, that seems to be a good thing, but... Does that mean I do more damage? Ah, oh, motherfucker. Against beasts. Well, at least that didn't give me a negative trait, which books can do sometimes. Gotta think about 
with the positives, or you will not ever play this game and finish it. Uh -huh. Think about the small good things, like that the, the he's almost dead. Try not to focus on that he's still alive. He can still damage us. He's almost dead. A, singular a crit strike. for one? How the fuck do you crit for one? <laughs> no, wait. Don't do that. Don't spiral. Okay. Sounds like my stress is testing me. We're doing fine. Not a problem. Here we go. Okay. Uh, I think I might die from bleed, but since I don't know how to check it, I think it's better to just take him out. Not a crit. Happy about that. Resisted the move. Also happy about that. Let's see. Okay. Debuff on the two living guys. Somehow the corpse resisted it. It's a tough as nails corpse. Okay. Nine. Yeah, I'm glad we buffed her up so highly during the uh, camping session there. I think, you know... Just with her damage and accuracy now, she's going to be able to carry us to these last two rooms as long as we keep her in a position where she can actually use her skills. Um, like, well, we've done a, a couple of these battles here. Anyway, uh, she should be able to just mow down just about anybody. Uh, Alright, he's taking up two spaces. I always forget that these big dudes take up two front spaces, so she can actually still use just about anything. Including this, which she normally can't use on someone in the front. But since he's got protection, let's go ahead and just debuff Blight. And get him on bleed. And we can. We're gonna have to do some heals here. Hopefully he's not going to have too many more turns here. Ah, well. I'm guessing he's going to have at least probably one more after this. Two bleeds. Hmm. Uh, I think I just want to stay in the front. Because if I can have a little more opportunity to heal, that'll be good. Let's go ahead and buff ourselves here. So that where we want to take this dude out, we simply can. I don't think this is even gonna kill him. Ah, but he's got so much bleed. Yeah, he's he's dead. But we can. Okay, good. You're still gonna get one more of the cheeky heals out of this. First, let's go ahead and get that done. Question is, to heal ourselves or heal somebody else? Ooh, for eight. Alright. The greater the glory. Man, there's so much shit to collect. Do we have room for it? Surprised. Thank god we had that extra surprise chance from camping and plus really high torchlight. That certainly helped. Thank you, Finale, by the way. Debuff, of course. I'm gonna hit these two. It's also going to increase their chances of being bled. That motherfucker still managed to resist it. But okay. You know, for uh, dungeons where bleeds are important, taking uh, the grave robber along with basically anyone who can bleed those two middle spots Seems like a pretty good combo. I do like that. Definitely need to be worried about our stress on our Jester there. Seems like <laughs> the Jesters always get stressed out real quick and pretty massively, despite being, you know, fucking Jesters. You'd think they'd be happy sons of bitches, but apparently, just like clowns in real life, they're. Suicidal, depressed, spend their lives making other people happy but aren't happy themselves.
game is so realistic. Minus 10 again. Plus buff. The one thing that we can actually do here... He's dead. Should we just go ahead and throw something at a corpse? <laughs> so hopefully we can get one more heal in here. I'm just gonna get to go us or him. Us. Nice. Okay. So we are gonna get one more heal in. Before it's time to go. Only for three, but considering we only have one more room. I'll take it. Let's eat a little more here. Oh, and quest complete. All right, I'm happy with that. Let's continue on. Not gonna touch that. Struck. A blazing <laughs> Fuck. Is born. 